and I'm just on my way back from a pretty good hunt. It was reasonably short, but it was productive. Loads of different coins and a little bit of silver as well, which is always nice to see. I thought it wasn't going to happen, but I just kept digging the bottle cap signals and by God there were some bottle caps and eventually got a bit of silver. So that's coming up. And stay tuned for the end because I'm going to ask for your help. Well today I'm back at the 18th century mansion. Um, in a field where there's a fair every year or every other year and it's been going on since the at least the 60s as far as I know uh, there is a lot of trash in here there's a lot of bottle tops there's a lot of ring pulls I'm just ignoring the ring pull signals yes I know there will be something good hitting the same on the e-track possibly rings but I'm not digging a thousand ring pulls for one ring it's not gonna make a very good video so I'm gonna be concentrating on the upper right hand corner of the screen some of the signals might fluctuate but I'm basically after coins hopefully silver ones and I would love to find a big chunky ring but I don't think it's gonna happen that was a decent signal probably was about six inches or so but it was a, a very strong signal and that's an Elizabeth II pre-decimal half penny from 1964 there's an interesting one I just pulled this up from about six seven inches uh, it's absolutely knackered but looks like a George the first halfpenny a uh, half penny halfpenny just see the bus there it's in pretty poor condition but that's a, I think that's what it is so that's a pretty old one that's the period I want to be into Hello, hello, hello. This was reading 1138 or thereabouts. And looks a little bit more interesting. It's, oh man, I'm no good with the saint. Saint Christopher, maybe? I think he's the dude that carries people about. I don't know what that's made of. Possibly not silver. In fact, I would almost guarantee it wasn't silver. Quite a nice, almost holographic effect on it. It's an interesting find. This one was reading 1038, and it was down approximately eight, nine inches or so. Oh, I thought that was a coin for a second, but it's not. Possibly a draw handle. Yeah, it looks like some like draw, Georgian draw handle. Here's the one that's been brought to the top by the moles. And I think it's a coin. Yep, looks like another halfpenny. Um, possibly Victorian, that one. I don't think it's thick enough to be Georgian. Blank, though. Absolutely blank. Now, this was a target which was approximately 8, 9 inches deep. Reading 8.38 on the E-Track. Give a hell of a signal. And I've no idea what it is. Some part of machinery or something. Almost looks like one of those drones you used to do when you were a kid. Looks like a Mexican riding a bike, viewed from above. This looks like a coin ball from approximately six inches deep. It was bouncing round a little bit on the right hand side of the screen, but it was a digger build signal. Oh man. Dirty devil. It's a modern penny. This looks like another coin ball. It's only two, three inches deep, maybe. That is marvellous. That's a two shilling piece, also known as a florin. Unfortunately, it's after 1947, so there's no silver in it whatsoever. That one's 1965, and it's Elizabeth II. That one was reading 1023, I think. So well, that was a very, very tricky signal, that one. And it looks like I found my first musket ball of the day. Yep. That was approximately... Hmm, six, seven inches deep, maybe. It's a reasonably big hole. 
and it was a diggable signal so gave it a dig nice find now I'll be the first to admit that I didn't really pinpoint this one very well you can see I've had a dig over there uh, I've dug all this stuff out and at approximately nine inches down there see the probe the probes around nine inches so at approximately nine inches there's a coin I think it's a coin anyway yep it's a coin it looks blank as well yeah might be able to just about get a bust if I give it a light rub no there's a slight raised part there but it's pretty much blank I would say it's possibly Georgian a Georgian penny or maybe it's a Georgian half penny yeah Georgian hapenny not big enough for a penny now this one was reading 12.35 at approximately 5 or 6 inches and it looks like we've got a coin ball here I'd like to think it was a silver coin because I haven't had one of those yet oh man look at that it's a decimal half penny half of one pence uh, now this is the same hole where I had the half penny just from up here and apparently there's something else there and I think it's the something else that was reading 1235 so I'm hoping it isn't another little half pence oh man Double disaster. Look at the state of that. Now this fellow was reading one what was it? 135, maybe it's 138. And I kind of thought it was um just a big copper coin, but it appears to be maybe it's a little well, it's like an amulet of some sort. No, what do you call them? A pendant. Pendant amulet? I don't know. gold coloured but I very much doubt whether it's gold <laughs> it's definitely not gold blessed Dominic Apostle of England not being a churchy sort of a fella I don't know who that is but it's a nice little artefact and it gave a cracking signal There you go, that's it cleaned up a little bit. You can see the heart with the cross on it. I think that's the blessed heart. That's um, significant to this place. Hopefully this is a, another coin ball. It was approximately yeah, four or five inches deep. It wasn't a very deep one, but it gave a nice banging signal of 12.35. So I'm hoping it's not one of them little tiny half pennies. This was reading 12.46 and it was giving a very loud signal. We're down approximately six inches or so. And we've got a coin. Well, that one's in good nick. That's in good condition. 1945 penny from George VI. They give a hell of a signal. Quite a nice imprint as well. This was reading 840 and I don't even need the pinpointer for this because you can see that is hopefully a coin ball. Nice hard lump. Hopefully got something good inside of it. Well, it's better than a bottle cap. 1967 halfpenny from Elizabeth II. Yet another coin ball from approximately ooh, eight, nine inches down. Uh, what was this one reading now? I think it was reading 1240 maybe, which is always a diggable signal. Uh, we've got a threepenny bit, 
12 sided coin. Uh, that one there is Elizabeth II. And the date, I think, is 1965. Now I've just dug a very shallow 1242. Um, I've, this is about a minute after digging another one that was 1242 at about six inches deep, which turned out to be a bottle top. This one is clustered up a little bit like a coin. So although it gave exactly the same reading, I think it's possibly a coin. I hope it's a coin. It is a coin. It is a coin in fairly good condition as well. 1929 penny. So that one's George V. Exactly the same signal as a bottle top up here. You just have to go through all the bottle tops to get to the coins. Here's another little coin ball reading 12, oh, 1238 I think. Oh, get in there. Get in, look at that. We've got silver. Beautiful, 1926, sixpence. I've had loads of similar signals and they've all been bottle tops and I've kept digging and kept digging and that's my reward. Excellent. If in doubt, dig it out. This one's reading 1335. And it's from very near where I've just got that sixpence. So I'm hoping it's another sixpence. That would be lovely. Oh no, man. Another tiny little hapenny. Oh, between them and bottle tops, it's a very frustrating sight. This was quite a tricky signal, but it was hitting 1246 quite regularly. Uh, when it wasn't diving down into iron, so I gave it a dig and this looks like a coin ball. I haven't um, done anything with the pro pointer yet, so I don't even know whether there's anything in here, but it does look like a coin ball. Yes, it is. And the reason it was jumping all over the place is because it's another threepenny bit. Mm, can't see the date on there, it'll be in the 40s though. maybe? I think it's 42, 1942 threepenny bit. At about hmm, seven, eight inches, maybe. This one was reading 1346 from approximately six inches, and it looks like another coin ball. Ah, it's a two pence. A modern two pence. That had a hell of a ball around it. If in doubt, dig it out. Well, I haven't done too badly. I've had, oh, I don't know, 20 odd coins, maybe in about oh, two and a half hours, so that's not too bad. They've spanned the ages as well, right from modern muck all the way back to George I, which is in the well, fairly early 1700s. So that's about the well, best part of 300 years of history there. Plus a musket ball, which might have been even earlier. Now, as many of you know, I'm pretty obsessed by depth. That's why I use this fella. It's an 18 inch coil on the E-Track. But lately I've been thinking, is there anything out there that goes a little bit deeper? Now I know there is pulse induction machines that go way down, but I want something with at least the level of discrimination that the E-Track's got, which is excellent at depth. So I really want to take a look at something that's very good at depth um, and also has good discrimination. The discrimination is important because I don't want to dig two or three foot deep holes for iron. I want to maybe go down over a foot. This will quite easily go down a foot for old pennies. I want to try and get a little bit deeper than that with a machine that will discriminate very well. So if anybody has any ideas, and I've searched all over, I've, you know, I've seen you know, I've watched videos on the whites, the CTX 3030, um, the Deus with the big coil, and none of them have really blown us away. There's very, very few in England digging in deep pasture, which is really where I do 99% of my hunting. 
but I really want you, the viewer, to guide me to videos of people digging in the UK on deep pasture for coins and other artefacts with a machine other than the e-track. So at the risk of alienating the US and the Australian viewers, and there is a hell of a lot of you, I need UK based people who have used machines other than the e-track and are getting excellent depth because I am obsessed by depth. I just want to see somebody going really deep, you know, maybe it's 14 to 15 inches on old pennies, if that's even possible. Um, I know I've done it on a... what the hell was it? After <laughs> What the heck was it? One of them big old Georgia third coins, 1797 cartwheel penny. I've dug some, you know, elbow deep holes for cartwheel pennies, but I want to see some Victorian Georgian pennies being dug at over a foot. So far I'm not seeing it. And I'm not doing it with this. I'm getting close, but I'm at the limit. I'm running it generally on about 27 sensitivity. I don't like it to be totally freaking out because you miss signals. So that's as about as stable as I can get it. And it punches as deep as it can possibly go. And I do regularly dig things up a foot deep. I want to see something going a little bit deeper. So please, if you can help me with that, point me in the right direction. Well, that's a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. It's probably is about maybe three hours since I got here now. Although this has all been edited down, it's actually taken us about half an hour to do this talky bit. I generally just talk nonsense and edit it out, so I've actually been detecting for approximately two and a half hours and had a pretty good day. So that said, thank you very much and goodbye. Once you get down... There you go, it's three o'clock. <laughs> it was half past two when I started filming this talky bit. Oh no, man, I don't believe it. I swear that had to be eight, nine inches deep. And that's a tiny little halfpenny. Half penny. You know, what a signal it gave as well. Unbelievable. In other words, if in doubt, dig it out. If you don't dig it, you're never going to know. And you could be walking over some great stuff. I've found loads of silver coins on end. And they've given really freaky signals. But I've taken the chance and I've dug them out. So, dig. Always dig. If you're thinking about digging, dig. If it never crosses your mind to dig, if you know it's a bad signal, don't dig it. If you think it possibly could be a good signal, but maybe lying next to iron, yeah, I don't know, dig it out. Dig it out, dig it out, dig it out. We've got silver. Yeah, probably it's about two and a half hours or so. Um, get up there. <laughs> now, I'll be the first to admit this one took a little bit of finding. You can see I've um, I don't know how many coins I got, but there was an odd one, you know. As you may or may not know, I'm obsessed by depth. I like deep digs, but I like deep productive digs. I don't like digging down for old metal buckets, old tin cans and rusty lumps of metal. Well I'm back at the, it's not 17th century, what is it, 18th century. I'm back. Get in, look at that. Dig it out, 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 dig it out. Oh, get in there.